Hey there, and welcome back to Arlen Plays Earthbound. This episode, we are continuing to work our way through Fire Springs. So, let's dive right in and confront a psychic psycho, that jerk. You know what? I haven't used this the entire game. Let's use the counter's PSI unit and see if that actually does something. Oh, ow. Okay. Alright, that noise is not a happy noise. And it didn't work anyway. Alright, well, I guess thanks to that crit it didn't matter. Hmm, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of that item, because that's... Mm. If it's not a guaranteed hit, and it only targets one thing, and on top of all of that, it... And on top... It's taking up an inventory space for something that's not guaranteed, and only hits one target. Screw that. Alright, let's see. The freeze. Bash away! Although, realistically, with where, with where our party is at right now, we could probably just bash our way through the entire dungeon. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Hey, that works. Alright. Let's see. So now we've got a number of ways to go at this point. One of them is up. All right, that's that's leading somewhere else. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here first. See if that leads me to. Oh, I'll take that. Let's check on our statuses first. He can definitely use it. But let's see. Okay, it looks like everybody's actually at full aside from PP. So we're doing really well. I didn't realize that we would pass through this much of this place unscathed so far. Though, in large part, that was because we've taken some HP damage and actually healed it. Mmm. This is going... You know what? Let's flash. This is this is a terrible waste, but I don't care. It makes me feel better. Alright, let's see. Jeff, why don't we... Whoops, not the neutralizer. We want you to use the hungry PSI unit. And I should actually have somebody equip that. What is wrong with me today? I don't know. Alright, let's see. Ooh, that looks cool. And it's just popping the crap out of this. There we go. That, that turned out quite nicely. Freeze beta, okay. Yeah, this was a giant waste of PP on this part. But, there is something to be said about insta-killing it, you know. And he's, and he, he, ooh, okay. Gained, gained a level, though it wasn't that great. And there goes Poo. Nice! Alright, now let's see if this is, uh, it is a respawning place. Excellent. That, uh, that offset the nature of that particular waste. You know what? You know what, I'll take that. Let's see. Is this... Okay, yeah, this is another dead end. I thought that this place... I, I seem to recall this being not the most... How do you call it? Not not the most threatening of places. As far as... Or not threatening. Confusing. I can speak, I swear. Alright, Major Psychic Psycho. Take some damage. Paul attacks. Okay, flash. Let's see if it kills kill some things. It didn't do anything. And this is gonna hurt. Alright. Let's let's take you out first. Well, that was quick. Huh. Well, I'll take that. That works for me. And this time we will do the slow version, I feel. Because I've been wasting a lot of PP with Ness. Although why I bothered to do that, I don't know, because realistically, Jeff is the only one who needs it right now. Horn of Life! Okay. Free full heal. I can I can deal with that. And oh Jeff! Why you gotta be like that, Jeff? Oh! Oh that hurts. That hurts a lot. Hmm. Let's, let's just run. There we go. That, that didn't hurt anywhere near as badly as it could have. 
he says. Alright. I like it when we get a free attack. Alright, you know what the sad thing is? I'm gonna take out this evil elemental first, purely because I don't want him to possess anyone. That is the entire reason that I'm getting rid of him first. Is that strange? Like, just because I don't want to deal with that? And he gets it off anyway. I think the thing that hurts the most with this is just the fact that it takes so much time for it to go through that compared to the rest of the battle messages. Now, that said, that's very much a balancing factor, though, because if you could skip through it really fast, you could very much mitigate its damage down to a point where it wouldn't really matter that much that you're being set on fire, which makes a, makes no sense. It just... It should matter that you're on fire any time that you're on fire. Alright. Oh, that's that's a lot of enemies up there. Let's Let's avoid those. And now there's even more enemies! Ugh. <sighs> Alright, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet on this one. Alright, let's let's see if we can flash at least one of them out of existence. That would be nice. And of course, Ness being the slow one. I don't think I've ever actually shown or used that particular PSI flash before. Still it is nice to have an enemy around that is actually weak to it. It's a it's a nice thing. Also, that makes me very sad. Alright, you know what? I'll do it again. I don't even care. Ooh, Jeff, Paula, and of course, Ness! Um, that is not what I wanted there, sir. Hmm. Alright, well, I'll take that. And I guess it's a good thing we gave Paula the Brainstone, because otherwise she would have lost her casting ability there. But she did not. Alright, made it through that particular pack. You know what? I hate to say it, but... Hmm. It is really tempting to just... Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. Normally I don't do this, but... We're reaching towards the end of the game, and I would like to actually use one of these for once. So we're going to use that on Ness. Bam, 82 PP. And that hurts. This is going to hurt. Please don't set me on fire. Oh, it's a f oh wait, a flaming fireball, which apparently only targets one person. Okay. Which, therefore, doesn't do that much damage, because it's like, oh look, 200 and something, but... You know, we're all alone. Okay, so this is just a way to get out here to get to the one item here. Hey, look at that! We can actually see the end! We're getting close, guys! This is good! Moonbeam gun! Which we can give over to Jeff, who can't hold it. Son of a biscuit. Alright, let's see. You know what? Paula, have a plane roll. Also, we need to check who's got defenses right now. Let's see. 182, 192, and 163. So it looks like the Cherub's Band would be best on Jeff anyway. Alright, I can work with that. Moonbeam gun. Let's give that to Jeff. You know, there are some games where I don't buy anything. And I think that the way this game is set up, you could totally do that and just not buy anything. That is actually one thing that there's a part of me that wants to do the next time that I go through this game. Not not for an LP or anything, mind you, but it's it's what I jokingly refer to as the Fabies are boring run, which is that you only ever buy new things once in the entire game, among a few other small details here and there. Um, the only time that they they buy equipment according to Fabies are boring is at, at the um, what is it, the Tucson department store. That's it. Or is it or is it in, in Foresight? I think it's actually Foresight now that I think about it. But point being, you don't buy anything anywhere else. You could do it. I mean, it is very possible. The only thing that makes it tricky is just that you have to rely a lot more on PSI, which means that I'd have to use a lot more items for healing, because my offense would be based on PSI largely. Or at least in certain areas, depending on when you find things for which people. 
All right, there we go. I can work with that. All right, let's let's finish this off, shall we? And actually, since we're getting up towards the end here, I'm just gonna run from this one, cause why? All right, there we go. And did done. You finally got here. This is the Aethior Sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Carbon Dog attacked. Huh. I actually kind of like that. Just, it's not, you know, Flame Dog. It's not something extremely obvious. It's Carbon Dog, which works. Okay. Let's see, what do we want to use? Actually, let's get rid of this one of these bags of Dragonite. Paula, let's use Freeze. Jeff, spy on it. Pooh, also Freeze. I mean, come on, it's it's on fire. This isn't that complicated, people. Bam. This is not going to do the full 720, I feel. His body solidified. Alright. Oh, he's not actually weak to that. Okay. Oh! Interesting. Apparently the Dragonite is considered to be a fire attack. That is actually rather intriguing. Alright, you know what? Mm, no, just, just bash him. It's okay. Paula, keep it up. Jeff, let's see. Do I want to use this? I've only got one. I'm going to save that for a little bit don't want to quite burn that just yet. So let's have you shoot it and freeze. There we go. Dealing some decent damage to Carbon Dog. Hmm, that's gonna hurt. Gonna nothing. This did hurt. Holy... Wow, alright. Um... Ness, you're on cleanup duty on that one, because that... Mm, so much pain. Alright, let's see. Again, I still... Mm, it's a little bit of prior knowledge, to be honest. But, at the same time, I really don't mind. <laughs> still, his abilities seem to be appropriate for what he is, and for the uh, difficulty of the fight. Or All of a sudden, Carbon Dog gave off a rainbow of colors! Now he is Diamond Dog. Mm hmm. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and bash away then. All right. Let's see. Let's let's shut down the prior knowledge now that we you know have him on the ropes, as it were. Jeff, why don't we have you? You go ahead and use your multi bottle rocket, cause you know, why not? And, you know what? PSI Thunder. It's something interesting. Um. Well then. That hurt. Alright, well, hurry up, because I don't wanna I don't wanna have Jeff die, but he might die anyway. Oh! Oh wow, Jeff lived even after Oh wow, okay. Oh, that was Oof, that was awful. Alright, I, I did not remember that he has a power shield. That hurt something fierce, and I think that's the most damage that anyone's ever going to take in this game. That, mmm, wow. And would you look at that, guys? It's over? Or at least it was going to be over, and then this jerkwad over here, the soul-consuming flame... All right. So now, at this point, I am going to use a little bit of prior knowledge as well. Um, we want to clear off some space on this. We really want to clear off some space here. So Jeff, you get the town map. Franklin badge we give to Ness because we're going to need it where we're going. Get the for sale sign out of here. Let's see, I can get... I don't need him life knows where I'm going, because he can heal himself. And honestly, he shouldn't be carrying this many in general. Alright, let's see. 
anybody else have any room? No, nobody does. All right. Well, I think I can make do with this. All right. Now then. Now that we've gotten all of that taken care of, we definitely want the night pendant. All right. Let's see. All right. We finally made it. It's funny, because, I mean, we're, we're kind of at the end of our journey here, in a way. I mean, we're certainly approaching the end of the game, that's for certain. You know, I really like that the last one is just a single clear tone. It kind of gives you that feel of, like, the, the clear purpose at the end of it all, and... and I don't know, it just, it appeals to me. And it's something that I've been curious about for ages. Ness had the feeling that he was being watched by himself as a baby. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the fire spring. Okay. And now, that is our eighth melody. Now for one of my favorite tunes. And so it begins and ends. And so now we have a flash of... Okay, I'm not in control, mind you, although that should be obvious from the way the sprite's moving, but apparently we're moving down some kind of path. The black and white is a nice touch. I like that. And the hint of the song. Sort of a music box feel to the song, too. A house. Looks familiar, doesn't it? For obvious reasons. For those of you paying attention, the reason this house is familiar should be very obvious. Aw, it's a puppy! That means King is really, really old. I mean, that dog has to be, what, 14 or 15 at this point? It's pretty ridiculous. Ness. Hmm. I think Ness is the right name for him. You know, it's weird. They never explain who's actually talking. But I always thought it was his mom. In large part, because that's who you see. But maybe this is his dad speaking. I don't know. Ness. He smiled just from hearing his own name. Do you think he likes his name? Try putting that red cap on him. <laughs> it's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope King won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some steak. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker just like you. Okay, so, so this one... This one has to be his mom, talking. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous, but I want him to be a st thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. The baby bottle that he pointed at seemed to move a little bit. Hmm. And so the strangeness begins. Uh-huh. Well, for those of you who didn't think that Moonside was enough of a drug trip, I present to you Magic Ant, which will have to be explored next time. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next episode when we explore the inner workings of Ness's mind. This should be illuminating. 
hope to see you then.